What's up Sparking Blaze? Welcome back to my channel today. I'm super excited to be back with you guys. You guys know I love to do my own nails and today I want to share with you the super easy way to use, to create, to actually do your nails without having to use acrylic. You guys know acrylics can be really, really damaging to your nails, especially if you don't know how to use it. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you my tips and tricks and what I like to do um, to not use acrylic. take you guys step by step on what I actually do so starting with filing my natural nails I just like to file them making sure everything is nice and filed down I also like to soak them on some acetone just to make sure I get rid of any residue from like nail polish that I previously had on and just to make sure everything is just like clean 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 um, and nothing is on my nails I'm also using this nail kit by Kiss, and you can find this actually at Walmart super super affordable I believe it was around five dollars and it does bring this glue which is the one that I always use because I really really like how it works I like how it glues on the nails I think it works bomb and my nails actually last really really long So the first thing I'm doing is actually just applying the nails onto my natural nails, actually gluing them, just making sure there is no air bubble or anything like that. You always want to make sure you get rid of like air bubbles or try to prevent it just because that's going to help the longevity, I think that's the word, for your nails to last lo much longer. So here I'm just going to start the process of shaping my nails. I first go ahead and cut them down to my desired length that I like I don't like them too long but either too short so just like in between next I like to take a regular nail clipper and just clip literally the edges you guys as you can see here I'm just literally clipping off the edges of the nail because we are going to be creating the cuffing style and yes as you see I am using this petty kind of filer that's for your feet but um, I actually use it for the nails never use it on my feet by the way it's brand new and I found this at Mar shoes I believe super super affordable I just didn't find anything for actual like nail filer for your fake nails so I just ended up getting this I was like this just works as fine and I actually like it so that is what I'm doing you guys just shaping the size just to make it more like a coffin shape style it's quite hard to get this shape like I never get it like on point but I'm trying and as you guys know I am not a professional this is just literally what I do for just to get my nails looking on fleek at home super super cheap so there is that saving some coins sis okay <laughs> So you guys once you're done with shaping your nails and getting the desired shape I am going to go ahead and keep on filing but now this time I'm actually filing the tip of the fake nail where it ends where I glued it basically because you want that nail bed to kind of look smooth when you apply um, nail polish on so you kind of want to blend it in by filing down the fake nail to kind of like blend with your natural nail so that line doesn't like show up and I'm just using the electronic kind of like filer to shave down the fake nails I'm not using it on my nail bed I'm actually using it on the fake nail so that's one tip right there and you can definitely do it with your like regular hand filer or not an electronic one just in case because you have more control when you're using a hand manual filer so that's just one tip there So now instead of using acrylic what I'm using it a 
what I'm using is a nail polish and it's a clear nail polish by LA Color. This is not the best nail polish, but it will dust the job for me. So what I basically do is just kind of layer them on only the bottom where my natural nail bed is, um, kind of like where the tip and the natural nail meets. Like that's where I'm actually layering the nail polish to kind of like build up that layer. So what I like to do is just build two layers, kind of like using just doing two coats on the bottom and then I go ahead and repeat the same step and do another layer all over the entire nail and again you guys you do have to let the nail dry once you apply like each layer just to make sure you know it becomes hardened and everything is just like nice and like still and nothing is moving around just let it dry let it cure for at least um 30 minutes or so i am um, i'm pretty sure it dries faster than that which is why i love this method because it's super super quick especially if you're on the run or you're going for a night out this is such a quick method to do and use so we're going now to the designs you guys which are my favorite which is my favorite part i'm using this nail polish by nails ink i love their nail polish they're so opaque and they work amazing i'm using this beautiful royal blue i'll leave the links down below in case you guys are interested in these nail polishes and i'm just gonna let you kind of like watch what i'm doing because i actually do not know how to explain this designs that i'm doing like i never know how to explain the design but basically i'm just going with it you guys i never like think about the design i just like literally go with whatever comes to my mind so yeah that whenever you messed up with your nail polish you can always go back and take a little bit of acetone and a q-tip and just fix that right up girl do not worry i got you these tips will help you will save your life okay and of course you guys know how i always hide my mistakes is just by adding a little bit of glitter on and i had to add a little bit of glitter to kind of like make it pop make it look more i don't know i just loved it it looked the bomb but these are my final nails you guys i really really hope you guys enjoy this thank you so so much for watching please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new to my channel and for those all you beautiful subscribers thank you so so much for being here um i love you guys share this video with somebody that would like to watch nails tutorials and without further ado i'll see you on my next one i love you